My name is Dr. Joseph Tracy. Dr. Xiao Sung He, a postdoctoral fellow in my lab, will be telling you about recent work we've done on the dynamic reorganization of language systems in our temporal lobe epilepsy patients as well as healthy controls. FMI language mapping has become a routine in neurosurgical centers to minimize the cognitive consequences associated with brain surgeries. For years, this investigation relies on static activation-based measures such as laterality index, while the dynamic interacting nature of the brain is often neglected. In this study, we first decoded the dynamic organization of the language system, then tested if these dynamic reconfigurations could inform about disease, specifically the language deficits often observed in patients with temporal lobe epilepsy. To accomplish this, we had temporal lobe epilepsy patients and matched healthy controls undertake both a verb generation and a resting state of fMRI scan. We sampled and extracted the time series from 16 language-related regions from both datasets. These regions were grouped into bilateral frontal and temporal subsystems for future analysis. We used a slide window strategy to generate functional coherence matrices over time, where we applied a mounting layer community detection method to parcel the network into different communities over time. Based on regional community identities over time, we characterized two types of dynamic re reconfiguration of the language system, the regional communication preference and the frequency of dynamic changes. We use recruitment and integration to measure intra versus inter subsystem communication preference respectively. We then use flexibility and promiscuity to measure the absolute and the relative frequency of dynamic changes. We found significant group differences only during task condition for both types of dynamic reconfiguration. Specifically, both left and right TLE patients showed reduced intra-subsystem communication preference in the left frontal subsystem, while left TLE patients compared to the other two groups showed an increased preference for inter-subsystem communication between the left frontal and right temporal subsystems. We also found both left and right TLE patients showed significantly lower frequency of dynamic changes within the left temporal and right frontal subsystems. These findings imply both a disruption of regional communication preference and an abnormal transition in brain states during the task condition in TLE patients. Interestingly, when we examined the static language task activation, we did not find any statistically reliable group differences using either a voxelized method or laterality indices. Lastly, we found the dynamic reconfigurations were correlated with actual clinical neuropsychological measures of verbal fluency. In addition, a random forest model built with dynamic properties can successfully predict verbal fluency, while a model built with laterality indices cannot. Adding the latter to the former did not improve the model. When we ranked the importance of all the predictors with random forest, only the dynamic properties were selected as important. In summary, we provided evidence that a dynamic organization of the language system exists during linguistic operations. Abnormal dynamic interactions revealed a lack of adaptive transit communications in TLE patients. Therefore, our work provides a novel explanation of the language deficits induced by such types of neurological disease. Thanks for watching. Please find more details in our paper.